Let's wash your hands. Let's move Working over. On. But we're not done yet. Let's move over to our more big ahead. old uh, tongue model. So, uh, come on Phelan, over. come on over. Hey, Lynn. Right. So, what you're going to do, Phelan, you're going to dip that hand back in here and you're going to go to the right side here okay. and see what you find in the back of that throat. Because how often have you felt a little something in the back of your throat and you're like, <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it comes out and you're like, really? Really? Well, let's see what you what got really there, Phelan. All right, here we, here we go. I can only imagine. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yay. Wow. <laughs> All right, so you found some mucus in the back of your throat. Now, obviously, your mucus isn't going to have marshmallows in it like this, but the idea is that it's a little bit white tinged, and that white tinge means you probably have some sort of infectious process going on in the back of your throat. What we call exudates, which means white blood cells. You can get that on your tonsils. It can, it can also come from strep throat, that kind of thing. So the white tinge in that pretty heavy mucus probably is pointing to some sort of uh, infectious process again. Sadly, it doesn't always come out in your sputum like this, but it's a great example of uh, what we're looking for. So, Phelan, you can wipe your hands off. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> let's, let's let Chris, I want you to reach back there towards the back left side of the throat. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This guy's sick. Have you ever, have you ever uh, hawked up one of those? We call it hawking up a loogie. Where I'm from. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure I have in my day. You all see that? And here we, very... we're, we're going to a little darker yellow, orange to brown tinge. And that's probably, that could be coming from up above from your sinuses, but it also could be coming up from lower in the airway. It may represent an infection. It may, it may represent, if it becomes brown, blood tinged representing infection in the, in the bronchi or in the lungs themselves. And here's the thing. You're never going to come to me and say, oh, I'm coughing up yellow brown sputum and have me say, oh, well, then I know it's pneumonia. I know it's bronchitis. I know it's just a cold. But it is, it does tell us that you have probably contracted some type of an infection. The good news is regular old run-of-the-mill colds, you can get mucus like that. It resolves on its own. It's just you kind of want to hide that color from your friends at times. Yeah. Right. You ready right. to wipe I think, it off? I think Chris is, you want you this done? towel? Oh, man. Say I'm, please. Fa there you go. Phelan yeah. and Chris deserve a round of applause. Yeah. That, that was very bold.